Good morning. Good morning, Father. Often you have heard me use the phrase that in the Orthodox Church we seem to constantly be preparing to prepare. And the journey of Great and Holy Lent is no different. We began the journey of Lent now 42 days ago. 42 days ago. Because the journey of Great and Holy Lent came to a close on Friday. Our preparation for Great and Holy Lent now has begun. And our pre-preparation has come to a close. As we began this journey, the hymns of the church reminded us why it is that we have undertaken this task of the fast, this battle, this spiritual battle of Great and Holy Lent. The hymns say to us that Moses fasted for 40 days in order to see God. And following his example, we too are called to fast for 40 days in order to see God and to recognize when it is that we are in his presence. In the Orthodox Church, we celebrate the feast of the raising of Lazarus from the dead and the feast of Palm Sunday, not as historical events that took place in time years ago, but we celebrate them taking place now in the present. And yesterday, we found ourselves in the city of Bethany, trying to grasp with our minds what our eyes just saw. Because our eyes saw Lazarus, a man dead for four days, come back to life. Stunned, unable to comprehend God's glory. We don't know what we're seeing. We just know the miracle that we have witnessed. And our hearts, full of awe and repentance, are called to action. How can we witness such an event and not be brought to glorify God? That's what we celebrate today. That's what brings us all together. That is what unites our voices with those of the children at the time, raising them up and singing Hosanna to God. Osana. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And in using those words gifted to those children, and now lifting them up with our own voice, God provides us for that which we lack. The wisdom of how it is that we praise and glorify Him who created the ages and whose love for us now came and appeared on earth to truly set us free. And so that we could fully comprehend what was going to take place in a short time with His resurrection from the dead on the third day on Great and Holy Pascha, we now see Lazarus once again alive here on earth. And because we have now concluded this period of preparation, because we have undergone the journey and the battle, 
of the fast. We recognize today in whose presence we stand and who it is that rides upon the colt of a donkey and enters Jerusalem. And so we grab whatever we can find, palm branches, leaves, shirts, and we lay them at his feet and lift up our voices glorifying him and ask him to continue to find us worthy to be able to glorify his name ceaselessly until the ages and to walk with him and to seek his forgiveness as we celebrate his passion, his crucifixion, his entombment, and then his glorious resurrection. Our time of pre-preparation has come to a close. And now, we are preparing ourselves for the gift of gifts, for the feasts of all feasts, renewed, emboldened, humbled, sorrowful, yet joyous in anticipation of what is to come. But on this day, raising up our voices, raising our palms, laying them at the feet of God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen.